Hey guys, thanks for joining with me for today for the discussion of static website hosting in Amazon S3 with the CloudFront as well as the Godot integration. Let's look at what we are going to study here today. As per the introduction, I'm going to tell you we are going to create a S3 bucket and our website content will be uploaded there and hosted. After that, we are going to integrate with that the Amazon CloudFront by enabling SSL and some other features. Then finally, it will be mapped with the Godaddy DNS. Let's look at how we can do that. In the S3 bucket, we need to give the same name for the S3 bucket name because if we have a plan to have the same name in the DNS, we should give that same name. As an example, if you are going to use the www.example.com using the DNS resolver, we should give that same name to the bucket as well otherwise it won't work so i'm going to create that same name and then we're going to upload the sample code for it after that we need to think of what is the bucket policy that we are going to use for enabling the static web hosting and then we need to configure about the pages the home page the error page as well and then we will be done with the hosting website on the Amazon S3 bucket. Hi guys, I'm logging to my AWS management console here and I just created my bucket which is called ml.insenio.com and you can see the uh, view properties permission and everything inside that bucket. So let's go to the properties here you can see the versioning static web hosting and everything is here click on the static web hosting uh, check on the use this bucket to host a website and you can enter your home page html file i made it as index.html yeah and if you want you can add the error document and the other rules if you want yeah i'm just click on the save and now it has been set it as bucket hosting under the permission tab we need to add the permissions so Let's click on the bucket policy first. In here, the bucket policy, we can add it like this as we saw in the previous slide and replace the bucket name instead of example.com. Yeah, we are done. Just click on the save. Oh, I got an error. This is because of what? Actually, it's preventing the public access. So we need to have the public access to this repository. Otherwise, people cannot load the web page. So let's go to block public access and here which is on. So we need to disable that. So let's deselect that one and let's save it. And you need to confirm before save it. I just confirm it. Okay. So it's getting saved. Yeah, it's successful. Let's go back to the bucket policy. Now let's try again to save this. Yeah, seems uh, which has been saved and also it gives the warning that the bucket has the public access. Let's go to the properties back again and let's check the static web hosting. Uh, we don't have any files yet. Uh, you can get the URL to hosted site. Go to the static web hosting property and here's the URL but we don't have anything over there. So we need to add the required project folders into the bucket i'm going to add my folders here i'll be drag them and copy to the bucket you can see several permission settings and other properties you can review all the things and you can click on the next just click next next and i'm going to upload all the files that i have selected yeah, you can get the review page. It's getting uploaded. You can see the progress using the progress bar underneath the page. Let's wait a couple of minutes to get it completed. Okay, I think uh, we are good. The upload is done. Uh, we can go back to the properties and get the URL where we have hosted. And then let's try to load the web page whether it's working. Oh, cool. Let's get loaded. Yes, we are success okay i just refreshed no issue so far 
Hey, okay. Now we are at the stage of integrating S3 bucket with the CloudFront. CloudFront is the content delivery network in globally and which is working as a caching mechanism. The caching in the sense you can increase your website's availability by using the cache as well as you can increase the performance of your website. If your user base is on the distributed across the world, it doesn't matter. In here, we are going to create a CloudFront distribution, adding required SSL certificates on that and also adding the uh, origin of the website as well as other related information including redirection from HTTP to HTTPS as well as the backup mechanism, the certificates and the other alternative C names and everything will be added over here. Once it is done, you can use the CloudFront test URL to test your website whether it's working properly. So in this demo, we are going to see how we can integrate S3 Bucket with the CloudFront properly. Let's click on the create distribution on the CloudFront and add the origin name where you hosted in the S3 Bucket. Yeah, I just selected origin path is index.html and the other information like uh, we need to redirect HTTP to HTTPS and scroll down and keep others as same and add the alternative C names. I'm going to add start or in scenario.com. Yeah, I'm going to select one of the SSL certificates currently available and then I'm going to click on the create distribution. The distribution is created now. Yeah, just click on that and let's get into that. We need to modify some other configurations. Here you need to, you can add some command. What we are going to do here. I'm just click here, set it. And then go to where that uh, static web hosted site to get the endpoint URL. I'm going to copy that and came back to the origin and origin groups and just paste it on the origin domain name. Now I'm going to click yes edit. Now the configuration saved. Let's go to the general page again and copy the URL of the CloudFront distribution and just paste on the browser and try. Yes, it's working. I can just refresh and just check whether that the connection is secure. Yes, certificate is updated and it is valid. We are done from the CloudFront distribution. Now we add the mapping CloudFront distribution with the GoDaddy DNS. In order to do that, we have to create a CNAME and add the required information related to the S3 hosted site. In here, we need to add the CloudFront HURL for that CNAME and then you will be done. So let's look at in the demo how we can do that. I'm now on GoDaddy homepage and I'm going to add a CNAME for my website. I'm going to add the host as ML and points to the CloudFront URL, copied my CloudFront URL and pasted it on the domain manager. Just click on the save. Let's wait a couple of minutes and try the URL now. Yes, it's working and refreshing. No worries, it's working and the certificate is valid. Yes, we are done. Thanks for joining guys and I hope you enjoyed my tutorial.